Och varför har du pälsen på dig? Kom och låt oss leka, löj, löj. Varför flyr du undan nu? The entertainer, pianist, composer, singer, comedian, author. I can keep all like this forever since he did so many different things. But mainly renovator of the Swedish musical and comedy stage show, Povel Rammel. Born 1922, died in 2007. Was one of the f most popular men in Sweden for over 60 years. He started as a jazz pianist, composer and singer who wrote quirky songs and recorded them and later made radio shows in, in which a new style of crazy humor was introduced. And then he went on to form the new stage show concept Knepup. And there was a long series of stage shows based on comedy and music. He also wrote some books and made some TV series and movies. And he had his own record company. Uh, in my book though, he was most of all the man who reinvented the Swedish language with, uh, with his frisky way of playing with words, making puns, creating new words by combining old ones, etc. I even wrote a simple essay about that subject during my years as a university student. And that material was later included as a source in a doctoral thesis about uh, Paul Rammel and his music. That was one of my proud moments in life. Um, it was uh, it also issued as a book that looks like this. Med gårdagens dörr på glän, uh, Påvel Rammel och Melodins epok by Johanna Broman Åkesson. Uh, so, it's nice to be a source for once. Uh, <clears throat> when I as, was a child, Paul Rammel's music was frequently heard on the radio and he appeared quite often on television. So it was more or less impossible to not be influenced by him some way. Especially for me, who, who has always loved the idea of combining comedy and music. And I bought my first Paul Rammel record almost 30 years ago. And it was this one. The 1971 live album Vid Pianot P. Rammel, uh, Vid Pia at the Piano, Povel Rammel, uh, and more have followed since then. Uh, there is the Povel Rammel Appreciation Society, of which I'm a member, although not as active as I would like to be. I'm member number 504, just like the famous Peugeot model, if you remember that one. Um, <laughs> and I met many other Rammel fans and friends through that forum. Uh, and I also issue this magazine called Sverke. Uh, and with the latest issue, I even got a CD uh, with the recording of a radio show called Julflugor, a radio show that was, uh, uh, I think, recorded and uh, transmitted on Boxing Day 1946. So that's very nice to listen to. When it's Christmas, I haven't listened to it yet because uh, when I record this, it's uh, December 9th and, well, not really time for Christmas yet, I think. But anyway, um, yeah, Paul Rahm passed away in, the, in uh, June 2007, just a few days after his 85th uh, birthday. And it felt really strange and empty since somebody who had always been there and that you would think always would be the uh, would be around was gone but to quote the cliche uh, it's a quite a true cliche he may be gone but his genius lives on <laughs>